She was never yours it's just your turn. It's true that we all have our biases. But if you take a look at the red pill philosophy, it's not just about pickup artists and how they can get laid more often than your average Joe Schmo, though there is some truth to this claim, I'm sure most men would love nothing less. It goes deeper than wanting an easy lay or being superior in bed, it's really about knowing yourself as well what makes for happiness outside of having someone else cater into fulfilling those needs. Hypergamy is a part of women's nature, but it's not the only thing that makes them feel convicted. The nihilistic perspective sees this duplicity as confirmation for their own existence and uses these insights to give up on all hope in humanity. Meanwhile red pillars who subscribe more closely with what they know about female sexuality can't help but notice how hypergamy resonates within themselves too, especially when you consider just how quickly girls will betray anyone at any moment if given half chance. This conviction has led some men into defeatism where everything seems hopeless until there comes an alpha frame slip up or online attention garnered by mistakes. We all want to feel like we've achieved something. And when that goal is finally accomplished, it's delightful for our loved ones who have supported us along the way, especially since they put in so much time and effort as well. But what happens after the job ends? What will I be left with if my turn comes around only find out there was no return on investment because everything has already been given, the juice tasted good while drinking. But now you're just wasting space, or worse yet time and emotion invested into someone else instead of yourself which could have gone toward building up resources within relationships or never-ending threads. For many men, the thought of being without their partner is devastating. They have invested so much into a relationship and it can be difficult to move on from that point of view they are still attached emotionally despite no longer seeing each other as an exclusive couple. The maxim she was never yours rings true for those who've been broken up with or divorced but want more than just one night stands because there is felt like no permanent solution available until now. Men are the architects of their own success. They have been compelled by evolution to ensure that they do not waste resources on mating with females who cannot provide them with children, and in a society where masculine responsibility was balanced by authoritative power over reproductive process, men could nominally control it all while knowing full well how difficult this task really is. The problem for men is that we still have an innate want to possess a woman, even when she doesn't belong strictly in relation with us. This desire can be seen as either biological imperative or social convention it's both. In this gynocentric society where women are free from constraints of their own gender, they're on top, you would think there'd finally be peace but no. There is nothing more manly than being an expert in bed and knowing exactly what to do. Every guy wants his slut on a leash, but only if she's yours. 